In this video, we'll find out how our performances are tracking against forecasts that we've set up. We'll use this option, see sales against trajectory. First, we just filter for the future performances that we want to see. We've set up a trajectory for some performances of the upcoming show Confetti, so we filter like in any RMA report. In this case, the forecast in question was just for the Friday and Saturday nights of confetti, so we could also filter for just those. But you don't have to, the module will help you to narrow it down at the next stage. So for now, we'll just ask, do we want to look at all sales, subscriptions only, single tickets only, and is it tickets or income? In this case, we made an all sales trajectory, tickets. This is where the module identifies for you that you only set the forecast for some of these performances, so it offers us just the Fridays and Saturdays, or different groups if you made other forecasts. We just pick the one we want, and use selected trajectory. The module shows us the real sales curves of those performances against the forecast that we set. Each coloured line is one of our upcoming performances, and the black line is the forecast. In this case, we're still in the early weeks. None of our performances has made it into the closing half of the chart yet. We can choose whether to see one coloured line for each performance or just the average for all of our upcoming performances. We can also choose how many weeks we see in the weeks from on sale side of the chart and how many in the weeks before performance side. How many you can choose from depends how many weeks you chose to view when you set the forecast up initially. In this case, we want to make this longer. Some of our performances are now only 25 weeks away, so we want to see them on the right hand side of the chart. Here, we can clearly see that most of these performances are tracking well ahead of our curve. So it might be that we no longer think this forecast is useful. We might want to remove it altogether, or to edit our trajectory. On the edit screen, we can change the shape of our forecast curve by either the drag and drop method or using the numbers panel. To drag the shape, simply grab hold of any data point and drag up or down and let go. You can see the RMA will always make sure that the curve remains cumulative, moving other points for you to make sure it cannot dip downwards. If, like here, you've done something too extreme, you can always undo your changes. This method is useful if you need to make a change to the shape, say to accommodate an unexpected bump due to a new cast announcement. If you want to make a smoother change to a large part of your curve, it's usually better to use the numbers panel. Here, you can boost or lower all weeks, or choose where your change begins and ends. In this case, we'll say the section from seven weeks before performance to zero weeks before performance, just the end. We choose whether it's an increase or a decrease, and we choose whether that's by a percentage or by a number of tickets. And if this were an income curve, you would see currency here. We enter our number and click apply. Again, we can always change our mind. If 
Once we are happy with the shape of our curve, we can click Save if we want to stay on this screen, or Save and Close. This edited curve is now saved against all of our upcoming performances. You don't have to come back to the forecasting module to see how you're doing against your forecasts. You can also see results in the configurable monitoring dashboard. There are various elements in this dashboard that are useful for this. In this case, we will use the sales with target element and the above below trajectory alert for tickets. There are versions of these elements for tickets and income and for subs, singles or all sales. You can also use difference from forecast in the advanced configurable alert. You can read more about this in other help pages. The dashboard shows you one row of elements for every performance. The sales with target element shows how many tickets we've sold, how many seats are still available and how many are currently held. Then the red lines show us First, our target as of this week, where we said we would be right now on the sales curve. And then the dotted red line shows where we said we would end up. Right now, we can see that on this performance, we couldn't actually make our final overall target because we still have too many seats on hold. The above below alert is even simpler. A green upward arrow indicates that you're at least 25% ahead of where you said you would be at this point on the curve. A yellow arrow indicates between 10 and 25% above. An orange downward arrow indicates at least 10% below where you said you would be as of this point on the curve. And a red downward arrow would indicate at least 25% behind. Sorting by this element lets you immediately bring to the top of what might be a long dashboard whichever performances need attention, of one kind or another. In this way, you can use all of this target information without having to return to the actual forecasting module.